What's up guys, my name is Marco, welcome back to this video. So today I want to finally make an English video, it's been a while. Actually, I think I made the last English video in the end of 2021. Now it's April, April 2022. Why did I stop making uh, English videos? I wanted to focus a little bit more on Italian to see the feedback. And I noticed that yes, I got a little bit more views, but in the end, um, I think that I would create different channels for different specific topics, for example, beauty care and maybe another one for fitness. And I, but this main channel, which will be the one of my personal brand, Marco Delia, will keep staying in both English and Italian. So to try to reach as many people as possible because for me the language is just um, a tool so how it is going i spent a couple of months since 2022 taking a break from social media creating content from working from everything i just needed a, a short amount of time to stop and rethink about myself, rethink about my values, what do I want to do, where do I want to go, why I was stuck in my routines, why my goals were looking every day farther and farther away. So I was almost stuck in this situation where I didn't know what to do anymore. So I decided to take a break. After that break, in which I also kept going with my daily routine, at least a little bit of that, and also I learned new practices and kept going with my practices of yoga and meditation. I also learned two Hatha yoga um, practices, which is Anga Mardana in Milan and also Buddha Shuddhi in Milan. Two yoga practices that are great. If you want to know more about them, let me know in the comments and I'll make a video just for that. I decided to start again. I rebuilt my goals, I rebuilt my values, I rebuilt new routines and I decided to try everything new back again. So with a new energy, with new awareness, I decided to start everything back again. I'm now slowly restarting my career, restarting what I want to do. Maybe I'm trying to build also some businesses. I need to find a way to move out and I need money for that. In the meanwhile, I had my birthday. I, I had my 25th birthday. It was amazing. I spent it with my friends and also my family. I received some more things. I also went to Milan a couple of times and also to Gardacon, which was um, a festival here in Italy uh, about anime. Here you can see the Demon Slayer uh, earrings. Everything's going great. I had a kind of a breakup and then now I'm slowly getting better I'm slowly like that spiritual path that I took made me slowly break all my previous world and now I'm rebuilding it but with more awareness of who I am and where I want to go. And lately I had the opportunity to see Sadhguru, Sadhguru in person because for Conscious Planet Save Soil he went with his motorbike for 30,000 kilometers, he's still going, and 100 days to spread awareness about the soil desertification, the safe soil problem. I'm gonna make another video about it. I already made it in Italian. And so at 65, he goes around bringing policies to make this change to safe soil, which is the root cause of many environmental global issues that we already know, and also to bring awareness so that billions of people are touched by it so that to make this change long-term change of our generation it is our responsibility to do it if we don't do it now it will almost become irreversible over time the more we wait the worse it is and it's our responsibility of our generation to make the change and become that generation that saved us from the brick of disaster which could be worse for food shortages in the future i went to two of the events because he also spent some time and went with the motorbike uh, to uh, Venice and also Rome, so two Italian cities. I decided to go and listen to him for the first time and see him in person for the first time. It was great, it was amazing. Uh, the first time in Venice, it was a little, kind of a little event. It was smaller with uh, a few people, but it was great. The second time in Rome was amazing with many great artists, with a thousand people in the crowd and very, very well organized. They also had a lot of good questions. He talked about soil, talked about many things. And guys, let me tell you that the first time that I see Sadhguru in person, I saw him and He's like so energetic at 65, like running around, dancing and singing. It was so cool. You see that he has power. He has like, 
he feels like he's the father of everyone else around. He also did a chant, a small chant, before starting the um, Q&A, before starting the conversation in Rome. And as soon as he did a clap, I felt like my whole body from the spine reverberating. And seeing him arriving into uh, on a gondola, which is fantastic, which is very absurd to see, with all these people chanting and dancing around, and everybody was kind of tired, staying there, and he arrived, like, filled with energy, and I remember this scene in my mind. There are, like, some steps to go to the stage to talk in, um, in Venezia, and uh, everybody was, like, walking on this, kind of, you know, bored and tired, and he arrived and he like jumped and ran upon these stairs and like with all of energy and very quickly and went there and talked. And it was kind of amazing. And this is the first time that I see him in person and also in Rome when he started chanting. It was the first time that I saw him chanting and then I heard him, not in a video, and it actually felt very, very energizing, kind of weird. It activated something in me, something clicked inside of me. Now I'm doing the, I'm learning the mudra, uh, different kind of mudras for yoga, positions of the hands to awake some kinds of energies and other dimensions in you and learning to use your energy to direct it in other directions and, and so on. And there are some mudras that actually make me feel kind of that uh, energizing feeling, but that one, that clicked. And I'm also getting into more things now. I also received some new things for my birthday, like this uh, meditation tongue drum. And I keep going with my singing, with my daily routine. I also start a new skincare routine for my acne scars. And it's finally getting better, guys. You know all the struggles that I took through to remove my acne scars. So, um, you know, besides all these things that happened, I'm doing many things for myself. My acne scars are, are slowly healing. I'm now planning to find a way to make some money to then move out and start going back to my career of also modeling and acting. I also keep going with singing. But in the meanwhile, you know, I keep creating content. I'm starting again to create content. I'm becoming more, more and more aware of the environment. So global issues like the environment, I'm finally starting to feel like becoming in union, feeling united to everything around me. And I don't know, I have so many things planned. I have so many things in my mind that I want to do. And these are so many things that actually are stopping me. So I have to break this barrier of karmic cycles and keep going around, remove the obstacles and start going, start doing, because I have so much energy now. Uh, also the practices that I've been doing for the past months and for the past years, actually, they are working, they're finally, I can finally feel the fruit, um, the first fruits. So yeah, guys, this is it. Uh, it's been tough, it's been a tough period. I'm also very confused now. I'm still confused about my future, but now I'm pretty much confident about what I want to do, trying to become the best version of myself, so to give as much value to people and to human evolution as possible and to people around me. And I also hope to inspire as many people as possible. So guys, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, just let me know, please, in the comments. I would be happy to start making English videos again by starting with replying to your questions. So that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next videos. Peace.